Courseware 5.0 includes completely immersive assignments, and I am here to give an explanation or a walkthrough of one assignment to show how it is completely on rails for students and uses visual and bite-sized learning to walk through a series of objectives and then quiz students on those. So here I am in the dashboard for Spring 2024, Anatomy and Physiology Section 1. And I am going to go into the unit uh, labeled cells, the plasma membrane. And I am going to pick this first assignment called plasma membrane. And as a student, what I see here is the title of the assignment. I see that it is overall worth 10 points. It is available. That means it is published and it is due uh, by the end of January. So here is an overview of that assignment and it includes a description of the assignment. It includes what the objectives are. And if I scroll down, I also get this overview of every activity in the assignment. And that gives me an idea of the time commitment that I have here. So there seems to be five activities here and then it ends with a quiz. So if I want to start this assignment, which I can start and then save and continue later if I don't get through it, or perhaps I will get through the whole thing. So as a student here, I am going to start the assignment. And here I am in the first activity of this assignment. I'm gonna take a moment and describe what I'm seeing on the screen here. Just as I saw in that preview, I can see that there are five activities in this assignment and then a quiz. And I can use this next button here to the right to walk through every activity towards the quiz, or I can also move back and forth using this uh, picker here at the top of the screen. And on the left hand side, I have the instructions for activity one. And it says here the plasma membrane is permeable. That is the point of activity number one. And the instructions are this is a 3D model of the cell rotate, zoom, and select structures to find the plasma membrane. So I can do this. And as I select things, the name appears. That is not the plasma membrane. Neither is that. Uh, and here I get to the plasma membrane. So I have found the plasma membrane. I have located the plasma membrane, and then it says select the book icon. So I select the book icon and read its definition. And here I can learn that the plasma membrane is a flexible barrier that forms the outer layer of an animal cell. So I can tell here that it's in cross section. I'm seeing uh, the outside of the plasma membrane. And the instructions also tell me to select the pronunciation here and practice. Plasma membrane. And I learn here that the cell's plasma membrane separates the cell's contents from the fluid outside the cell, but the cell membrane is permeable. So I'm going to move on to the next activity uh, to examine the composition of the plasma membrane at a more microscopic level. So as I mentioned, you can just select next and move in to the next activity, which is a zoomed in illustration of the plasma membrane. And this activity is titled Heads and Tails of the Phospholipid Bilayer. So this illustration zooms into the plasma membrane and shows the structures that make it permeable. So it tells me to keep in mind the structures inside the cell are on one side of the membrane and the substances on the other side of the membrane are on the outside of the cell. So the illustration shows many structures, but it wants me to focus in this activity on that phospholipid bilayer. And I can see this phospholipid bilayer here in the labels. And so I am paying close attention uh, to this and I am reading about this view as I am instructed to do where I learn a little bit about why these uh, phospholipid bilayer structures are organized the way they're organized with their heads facing outward and their tails facing inward and then it says to move on to the next activity to learn more and this again is reviewing the hydrophilic and the hydrophobic parts of the phospholipids in the next version of this, we are still looking at the same illustration, but now it's telling me to focus in on the protein channels. And there's a description here about how protein channels are allowing some substances to pass and how the phospholipid bilayer allows other substances to pass. 
So, uh, and I learn here that in the next activity, I am going to see this plasma membrane in action. So when I select the next activity, I now am going to get a video. And it says, play the animation without a voiceover. And at this point, I have learned enough in the previous four activities to be able to explain this phospholipid bilayer and these heads that are facing outward and tails that are facing inward and this protein channel that is allowing other substances to pass. And so when this animation finishes, the instructions here say, if I can identify and describe the plasma membrane, the phospholipid bilayer and the protein channels and describe how these structures are permeable, I am ready to take the quiz. And here is the quiz. So the quiz is a series of uh, quick quiz questions that are just checking those three ideas that I was taught in this very brief visual learning lesson. So which of the following statements explains why the phospholipid molecules of the plasma membrane are arranged with the heads facing outward and the tails facing inward? All the following can cross through the phospholipid bilayer of the plasma membrane, except And if you were explaining to the, your classmate why protein channels are found in the cell membrane, you would say, and here I have done a great job with my short assignment and I have scored the 10 points. And here I can see my answers to each of these quiz questions. And I submit my assignment. I return to the course. And I can see that now I have a green checkbox and that I can move on uh, to the next assignment in the course. That's it for the demonstration.